And ahead of Veterans Day, let's meet a couple whose prior Army service not only shaped their identities, but also catalyzed their transition to civilian life as entrepreneurs. We have Gabe and Lindsay Chrisman. They met while attending West Point and after leaving the Army in 2020, went on to begin their own company called My Home. They are here to share their story and discuss how their Army journeys helped them build a successful career out of uniform. Good morning to you both and thank you for your service. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, thank you. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about your journeys to the Army and how you your service really brought you together. Yeah, um, so thinking way back, I was actually only 11 years old when I decided that I wanted to go to West Point. Um, and when it came time to apply to colleges, West Point was actually my only application. So I threw all my eggs into one basket. And then when I was a senior at West Point, I was actually the fourth woman in West Point history to be appointed as the first captain, which ranked me number one out of 4,400 cadets at the academy. But I think actually my favorite part about West Point was the fact that I got to meet Gabe, uh, who eventually became my husband <laughs> during our junior year. Highlight of highlight of that experience. That is so um, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then after I graduated, um, I got to serve in the Army for uh, almost 10 years as an aviation officer. So I had the privilege of flying the Apache helicopter for uh, nearly three years before being selected as the first female in U.S. Army history to pilot the age six Little Bird for special operations, which was absolutely a life-changing experience. Um, now, currently, I'm in my second year uh, at Harvard Business School and pursuing my MBA and co-founding my home with Gabe. Oh, that's great. Okay, we want to find out a little more about this My Home. So, Gabe, Gabe, what was the inspiration and what are the goals of this My Home business? So, thank you for uh, for having us. Uh, after leaving the Army in 2020, in 2020 I uh, entered into the home services industry. Uh, it was a field that I was familiar with because of my dad and his background and his career. Uh, and at the same time, in 2020, Lindsay and I became homeowners for the first time. We had no idea what we were doing. I didn't know how to fix anything. And inevitably, <laughs> something broke. Uh, and so I had to figure out how to fix it. So I turned to the Internet. I found uh, four or five different companies. I had to call them all. I had to get on all their schedules. It took, you know, weeks to when it was all said and done to get this very simple problem solved. So it was both of those experiences where Lindsay and I sat down, we said, but there's got to be a better solution for homeowners when things happen around the house. So we created my home. So with my home, the homeowner takes a picture. That picture then gets sent inside of the app to all of our vetted professionals in the area. The homeowner then receives virtual quotes. They choose a provider, schedule and pay all within the app. So we've reduced that three week long time span that we saw into just four minutes. Uh, so we've really created this streamlined way to maintain and improve your home. You really have. You all saw a problem and then you fixed it. That's amazing. So how did your time and training in the military, how do you all think that really helped you put all this into motion? Yeah, so serving in, in the Army taught us skills that have been absolutely invaluable um, towards our journey as being founders in my home. So first, I think it's the ability to identify and mitigate risk. You know, when stakes are high and information is limited, you learn to make very complex decisions under a lot of stress with very little information. This mirrors the challenges that Gabe and I face on a daily basis as founders. Um, and then also values. You know, the values that the that the military and that the Army instill in you are, are timeless. And these values were able to carry through with, uh, to my home. It's be a good person figure it out and buy a pair of cleats. And they were inspired by the great leaders that we had the privilege of working with. And we believe that embodying these principles just, and it drives such a positive impact, not only in the people, but also our mission at my home. Oh, that's great. And you, you've hit on a lot of this already, but what would you tell a young person considering army service? Yeah, I think for me, you know, I believe that it's the Army's mission to continue to care for soldiers and their families even when their service ends. And as veterans, we have access to such a large range of benefits that help ease that transition from the military into life after service. For example, I'm using the GI Bill to pursue my MBA. Gabe and I use the VA loan to buy our first home. And these things just would not have been as easy or accessible if it weren't for our time in the Army. Yeah, definitely. A lot of opportunities out there. So where can we go if folks are wanting to learn more about my home as well as the Army? So for the Army, they can go to GoArmy.com and they can find everything they need there. 
Uh, for my home, we're excited because as we honor our veterans this Veterans Day, we're excited to announce that we, for every download of our app uh, nationwide, we're donating $1 to Creative Vets, which is a local Tennessee nonprofit that partners with veterans struggling with PTSD and introduce them to outlets like music and art. So if you want to make a difference and check out my home, you can simply go to your app store, you can scan the QR code or search in the app store, My Home Experts, download the app, we'll donate a dollar for every one of those downloads and together we can contribute to a veteran this Veterans Day and you can help support a veteran owned business. Yeah, what a great and easy way to get involved. Well, Gabe and Lindsay, thank you so much for your service to our country and what you're doing to still serve our veterans and our, and our, our country as well. <laughs> thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Yeah. Hey, I'm